One of the best ways to improve your online courses is by listening to your learners. In this video, we'll discover the power of ProPanel by LearnDash, the ultimate solution designed to help course creators like yourself enhance your online courses by utilizing insightful analytics, tracking student progress, and delivering exceptional learning experiences. Let's dive into the walkthrough. Now let's dive into the setup process. First, we begin by logging into our LearnDash account where you can download the ProPanel plugin. So I'm already logged into my account here. What I'm simply gonna do is go head over to subscriptions. In the subscription area, you want to navigate to where you can download your ProPanel plugin add-on. So I'm gonna navigate down my screen and then look for the ProPanel by LearnDash add-on and then click on download. In your browser, you should see the file download in a zip folder. You wanna keep it zipped and not unzip it so that you keep all of the contents of the zip file contained. Next, we're gonna install and activate the plugin by navigating to your WordPress dashboard and heading over to plugins, clicking on add new. And then we're gonna click on this upload plugin button to the top of the screen. You can either drag and drop your file into the choose file area, or you can click choose file and navigate within your file explorer or in finder or if you're on a Mac. So I'm simply just going to use the easier option and drag it in and click install now. Don't forget to activate the plugin. Next, you'll need to secure your pro panel license. You can do so by checking your email or you can do so by navigating to your LearnDash account and copy and pasting it into the settings. So first I'm gonna copy my license over here. Then I'm gonna head back over to my website in my dashboard and navigate to LearnDash LMS. I'm gonna go all the way down to settings and to the top panel, I should see pro panel license. I'm gonna click on that. And here's where you can enter your email and your pro panel license key. So I'm gonna do so now. Once you've entered your email and your license key, which have been associated with your account, you're all set. So now that we're back inside our WordPress dashboard, let's talk about the reporting widgets that come along with pro panel. ProPanel contains five powerful reporting widgets located on the WordPress backend dashboard. These widgets come available when you install and activate ProPanel to help you analyze your courses and your students' progress. But before we do so, I want to show you how you can customize your dashboard so that you can get a better look at how ProPanel works. So to do so, what you're going to do is head over to the screen options where you can activate or deactivate different options that are presented on the dashboard. So there are a few things I'm gonna remove here that aren't associated with ProPanel. And I'll close that off. And then if I want, I can also drag and drop the different widgets into different areas on the panel. I'm just gonna do that now. So let's briefly break down each of these widgets. So let's start with the overview widget. This widget gives you a quick glance at the number of students, courses, pending assignments, and pending essays. Each item is a clickable link that would let you view the selected selection with more details. So if I click on courses, it's gonna take me over to courses, and if I click on assignments, it's gonna take me over to assignments. You get the point. Let's talk about the activity widget. The activity widget allows you to track individual users activities in real time, such as the lesson progress, quiz completions, and achievements, so you can provide feedback when it's most needed. You can also use the activity panel to export quiz or course data into a CSV file once you've done your filtering. So this leads me to talk about the filtering widget. Using ProPanel's robust filtering options, these filters help you target and focus on specific groups of users or courses for a more grand understanding of your learner's progress. So as you can see, we have a number of different type of filter types that we can use to filter down our content on our website. So the group filter enables you to analyze the progress of user groups, such as different departments within a company or varying cohorts in an educational setting. Simply click on the drop down and select the group that you want to see information on. We also have the course filter, which allows you to monitor the performance of a single course or multiple courses, for example, and evaluate the overall progress and completion rates for each course and identify any areas that may need improvement. 
You can use the user filter to target individuals or select multiple users to analyze their progress across courses. Uh, for instance, focus on the top performing students and perhaps delve into their interaction and their patterns as to why they're doing well with the course. There's also the option to select the status and we have not started, in progress and completed. So you can filter it down to any one of those statuses. And then additionally, you can apply a date filter to focus on user activity within a specific time period. This will help you make it easy to identify trends in user engagement and make timely updates to your course content. Before I forget, there's one trick up my sleeve that I forgot to mention about ProPanel, and that is that you can email specific users using the filtering widget. To do so, once you've selected the different parameters for your filtering, you can then create a subject and add a message to which you can email one of your students. It's a great and effective way to communicate with your members and with your students on the platform. So now I'm going to go ahead and produce some filter data. So this leads me to the Pro Panel progress chart. So you can visualize overall course progress with informative charts, including a progress distribution chart and an all in progress breakdown chart. Once the Pro Panel reporting widget is set to filter by group course or user, you will notice that the charts will appear. On the left is the overall progress distribution chart. This will show user or course distribution between the not started, in progress and completed course statuses. On the right is a breakdown of all the users or courses that are in progress in the selected filter. So by default, the progress will be distributed in 20% increments. So that's 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. These increments, along with many other items, can be changed using the filter discussed in the developer section that can be found in our documentation. And then we have the Pro Panel Reporting widget, which will display any information associated with the filters that have been selected. So if I want to find information on Katie and narrow it down, I can type her name in. And as you can see, information on Katie is produced inside of the reporting widget, which is really powerful stuff if you want to dynamically find users and find information based on their interaction with your LearnDash courses. Again, remember you can toggle the visibility of these widgets by heading over to the screen options above and clicking or de-clicking any of the items that are found in the options here. Simply hide it when you're ready to uh, move on with your widgets. So leveraging these widgets, you can stay on top of your students' progress. You can identify areas for improvement and deliver an exceptional learning experience. Next, we look at how you can put this information on the front end with these widgets so that maybe your administrators or your group leaders can have access to this information on the front end. One of the ways that you can put ProPanel on the front end of your site is by using the appended URL. As you can see here, I am on a dedicated page only accessible to administrators and moderators that can access all of the information inside of the ProPanel with all your widgets on the front end by simply appending using this hit right here in the URL. The second way that you can add ProPanel to the front end of your site for administrators or moderators is by using the ProPanel shortcodes. And to do so, if you head over to your site, this is only accessible using the classic editor. So what I'm gonna do is simply add a block and I'm gonna type in classic. Once I've added in that classic block, I'm going to access the learn dash shortcodes that would have been made available on the previous versions of WordPress. So if I click on this area here, I can navigate all the way down to Pro Panel, and then I have the option to either add the link or I can add any of the shortcodes that I want accessible. So let's say I want the overview widget on this page. I can click on that and then click on insert shortcode. So you can copy and paste these shortcodes from our Pro Panel documentation in the support area and copy and paste them into your page. So what I've gone ahead and done is added these shortcodes using the WordPress default shortcode widget and added my shortcodes into them. And now if I click on publish page and I go to view my page in a new tab, as you can see, we have both my overview, my filtering widget, and if I were to filter any of these requests, I'd be able to see my activity and my progress distribution. So this is how you can easily add a pro panel on the front end using short codes or using the appended URL. Now that you've seen the power of pro panel, it's time to try it for yourself. Visit our demo website at demo.learndash.com to experience pro panel in action. 
or if you're ready to unlock its full potential, click the link in the description to make it a part of your course creation journey. As always, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment area below the video or contact us at learndash.com for more. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we release more tips, tricks and tutorials. See you on the other side and happy course creating.